it will be all about us remembering that IRR of a project, IRR of a project is that rate of return at which a project's net present value equals zero. So for project C that is missing there, for project C that is missing there, for project C which is missing there, for project C which is missing here, I can see the cash outlay, the initial cost there is 375,000. And then the annual net cash flow is uh, 161,525. Out of this annual net cash flow, I should be able to discount this to get the present value. So I can see the annual net cash flow is 161, uh, is 161,524. Because it's an annual cash flow, I have to multiply it with what here PV for present value interest factor of an annuity. So this present value interest factor of an annuity, I don't know what the R is, but I know the number of years. I know the number of years of this particular project here. There are how many? There are three years. There are three years. So ladies and gentlemen, minus the initial outlay, the initial outlay for project C, I'm being told there is 375,000. It's 375,000. So this is 300. And 75,000. And because they want me to give them IRR, what I'll do is to come and equate everything there uh, to zero. And then I make PV for the subject of the formula. So I make PV for the subject of the formula. If I do that, I will end up getting PV for R percent three years, 375,000, because this has to cross over all over 161,524. So 375,000 all over 161. Uh, 524, ladies and gentlemen, is supposed to be equal to what, ladies and gentlemen, help me out here. Help me out here. Uh, according to Francisca, remember, our PV for tables are how many decimal places? Four. Always write this in four decimal places. Four decimal places. Four decimal places. What do we have here? Four decimal places. Four decimal places. What do we have here? Four decimal places. So we have uh, from Cynthia, Ngeno, 2.3216. So this is 2.3216, like that. And then of course my work today my work today, ladies and gentlemen, will simply to look for where I'm able to see my N. Number of years are three. Number of years are three. I want to work with this three up to the point where I see 2.3216. So up here, I should be able to read the rate of return, which is there, which somebody long time ago told me is 14%. So meaning that uh, our IRR should be equal to what year? 14%, 14%, 14%. 14%. Remember, there is that shortcut of ours of getting this PV for directly, although it's not very good for us to work with shortcuts. Not very good for us to work with shortcuts. Where you take uh, the PV for, whenever they want you to give to them, IRR over an annuity cash flow project. You take the PV for to be equal to the initial outlay, initial outlay all over the annuity cash flow, annuity cash flow. So initial outlay all over the annuity cash flow. And then whatever you get there, you locate that figure in your tables there. And then you'll be able to read the rate of return up there. You'll be able to read the rate of return up there. You'll be able to read the rate of return up there. So I'm so sure you, my great students, of course, would have gotten this correctly. Is that not so? <laughs>